I'll make a brand new start of it in old New thinking, Jordan, what are you doing? You literally just got home a week ago. Here we are, back at it again. Mom and I are taking a trip to New York City, and then from New York, I am headed to Europe for two weeks. So it's going to be a fun few weeks. The airport was actually insanely busy today. I dropped off my luggage, no problem. There was nobody in line for Delta, but when we got to security, the line was quite long. I think because it's around spring break time, but we got through pretty fast. And now we're in the lounge, enjoying some coffee and a little bite to eat before we have to board the plane. Hopefully this should help wake me up a bit. I'm really excited though, so that's, that's keeping me going. Mom's having her first lounge experience. First thoughts? <laughs> it's really nice. I have to travel with Joy more often. <laughs> Dad, if you're watching this. <laughs> yes, we have to get this for us. super easy. It was probably like a 50 minute flight and it's currently 8.30. We are at the LaGuardia airport. Got my luggage. Obviously this isn't just for the next three days. This is also for Europe. But we're gonna get an Uber and we're gonna head to my brother and Abby's apartment. So here is my little outfit for today. I've got this yellow bodysuit with my little sweater, sweater shirt, and I got my loafers with my lighter wash denim. It's about quarter to 11, and we're gonna make our way into Manhattan. <laughs> Just kidding. Mom's wearing black and white. Don't know. Oh, these are Banana Republic. <laughs> No idea. Maybe Zara. Yeah. Cute. That's it. Oh, and my Adidas. Adidas. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is. Our first stop of the day is the Chelsea Flea. It is oh. open on the weekends from 8 to 4. So. 
I'm excited to remember coming here. There's a lot to look at. I could have sworn we've been here like 10 years ago, but maybe not. Oh, that's so cool. How oh, cute. I know. I do love a teacup set. I just pointed out it's a cloud one. Oh, I like this one. That one's pretty. Yeah, I like yeah. That one. yeah. They kind of match the vibe of the paintings you have already in the apartment. That's yeah. I was, I'm so glad that you pointed that out. It's cohesive. Look at that rooster, but it has like tiger stripes. Abby is going to make a necklace. She's picking out her charms. I'm gonna get like a little Italian horn. I like the hearts. Yeah, the hearts are super cute. Which one, this one or this one? That's the real question. There's one thing about me is that I love a browse and I love a flea market. I'm having so much fun. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's why I have the little... Can I do the Joe's Club, please? We have made a pit stop at Joe and the Juice for some lunch. It's about one o'clock. I ended up buying a few things from the flea market, so I will show you that later. I got the right. Joe's Club, yeah, yeah, got I'm the sure. avocado, and Abby got the tuna cup. Yes. First day in the city is, is going well. Yes. Had a really good sandwich. Yeah, lunch was good. Joe, Joe and the juice. Joe and the juice. Little bite to eat to fuel us for an afternoon of walking and potentially a happy hour in a few hours. Yes. It's a beautiful day out. It's so warm. I've just taken my little sweater off and we're enjoying the sunshine. And we're gonna walk. We'll see how many, how many steps we get today. Stunning. Brent's taking some pictures. There's a jazz band playing right now, and there's a lot of people out and about. I mean, that's always the case when it comes to New York City, but because it's so nice out, everyone's walking their dog, having a coffee. It's a perfect Saturday. It's about 2.30 means it's coffee time. Ooh, so cute. Oh my gosh. I love a hanging basket. It just smells so good in here. So over there is all the plants and flowers and then over here is the cafe. How freaking cute is this place? Will here because you can find some nice items. I browsed for a bit. I found a couple things I'm really excited about. A cute little Zara sweater. So I did lie when I said that I wasn't going to be doing any shopping on this trip. But here we are. Now we are headed to the friend's apartment. Last time we were in the city, I stopped by Carrie Bradshaw's apartment, which is also in the West Village, but I didn't make it to the friends yeah. one, so it's only about a 15 minute walk, so I think it's only fitting that we make a trip there. Be
Alex Russo, is that you? We are walking on Waverly Place right now, and we're just trying to find Alex Russo. Actually, they're making a remake of that show, I'm pretty sure. It's a little bit chilly now. We're looking for the wizards. We're looking for the wizards, and we're looking for the entire cast of Friends. I wonder who actually lives there. Subway. We're gonna take the subway back to the apartment, refresh a little bit, and then be back out again for dinner. God, this is my future sister-in-law. I got so much stuff today. <laughs> we went shopping. <laughs> I know I said that we weren't gonna shop on this trip, but I lied. How are we not gonna shop? I know, right? <laughs> Central Park to start the day off strong. It's another gorgeous day in the city. The sun is shining and I think it's gonna be a little bit windier today so I have a scarf to keep me a little bit warmer. Today is St. Patrick's Day and it's also the New York Half Marathon so we're gonna try our best to avoid the crowds if possible and it's gonna be a great day. Ready to go, have a day. The sun is shining. It's, it's just the two of us for now. Brett and Abby are gonna meet us in a little bit. We've made it. The flowers are starting to bloom and it's so beautiful. Tell you one thing we really could not have asked for better weather for our our weekend in the city the weather has been perfection I granted it is only the second day here but yesterday was gorgeous today feels so nice and I think tomorrow the weather is also supposed to be good I've never been this far up Central Park Jacqueline Ken Real Anastas Reservoir
we've just walked through the park. It's been lovely. I flew my drone, so I got a little bit more practice there, which I was kind of nervous about because it is a bit windy. Now we're walking towards 72nd Street because we're, we're gonna meet Brett and Abby. They have made their way into the city, so we're meeting them around 72nd Street. And then I don't really know what the plan is. Probably just explore. Actually, as we were walking, I just met a subscriber. Her name is Claire. She also has a channel, so I'll have it linked for you. She also travels. That was super cool. That's never happened to me outside of the ship. On the ship, I'm quite used to meeting you guys, but not in New York City. So, kind of made my day. Hello! Yeah, I know. Since I've never really explored the Upper West Side before, we are checking it out. And we're gonna start with the Grand Bazaar, which is another flea market. And it's the perfect day for it. So we're just gonna walk through, check it out, and then continue on. Will I come out with something? Okay. Love, love you. Probably. Cute. Bunch of different vendors. This wallet is super cute. Definitely not big enough for all my cards, but they would really like it. I probably don't want iced tea. Mango. Yeah, I'd say mango, maybe. Mango limeade, maybe. This one. Yeah. No. What's pomegranate turmeric? That, that's. Yeah. Let's do that one. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay. We got a little refresher. It's pineapple and coconut cream. Mmm. It's good. Refreshing. Tastes exactly like what it is. <laughs> in a heartbeat, 100% would buy those if they had them in a shorter version, but they don't. Not that I need one, but I absolutely love the color of this water bottle. It's like a lilac, it's perfect for spring. We're taking the subway, we are headed downtown. Definitely a different vibe. We are in the hustle and bustle of the city. There's Times Square. We're approaching Radio City Music Hall. I really wanted to visit again. Just gonna check it out. Obviously can't go inside. And then I think the plan is, is that we are gonna find a rooftop bar to have an afternoon cocktail at. Maybe not a rooftop, but someplace to have a drink. Floor. We're at Refinery Rooftop. We are sitting outside. Mom and Brett are waiting for drinks. We have a beautiful view of the Empire State Building, but we don't have a table because it's reservation only. And we got yelled at about the situation. We sat at a table outside, but apparently that was off limits, even though he said we could sit anywhere outside. So there was a little bit of miscommunication. The guy was a little rude, which I don't appreciate, but we're here. And there's the Empire State Building. Hour. Woo! Woo! I'm hungry. And we are headed to 
the Rag Trader, which I've never been to. I don't think any of us have ever been. back in the apartment. I want to give you a haul of everything I got yesterday and today because I meant to do it this morning, but we ran out of time. The Uber was like literally around the corner when we ordered it. So yesterday I did buy a few things. My first purchase of the day yesterday was this little button down from Gap. It was on clearance for $14.99. <laughs> until my mom and Abby were at the checkout and I joined them there and right at the self checkout was the sweater that I have been in search of forever. So I got this little red button down cardigan sweater, super thin, lightweight. I just, I'm obsessed with red lately. So really wanted to get this and I think this is gonna be perfect. I haven't tried it on, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We went thrifting a little bit. I went to Goodwill. I thought I might have some good luck, which I did. So I got this little like spaghetti strap top for spring and summertime. And then I got two sweaters. So the first one is this like chestnut brown button down. This one's originally from Zara, but I also got this little striped sweater that is kind of like a v-neck and it has a collar. I don't know where this is originally from, but all three things were $7 each. So very good deal. On our way home, I saw a tote bag found a tote bag in one of the stores so I bought it and it was $14.99 I almost forgot I did get a couple things from the flea market yesterday so my first purchase of the flea market was actually postcards they were selling like old-timey vintage postcards and I really wanted to get obviously a postcard from the trip to the city so I found these and I bought two of the same they were a dollar each I just thought it was cooler to get like a vintage postcard rather than just like a tacky one from one of the souvenir shops. Final item I have is a necklace. I custom made this. So there was a little stand at the flea market yesterday where you could pick your own charms and carabiner. So I picked out three charms and I put them on this little band and I think it's super cute. And Abby did buy hers. When I watched her getting hers made, then it made me want to get one as well. There's a pearl, a lucky charm, and a little heart. Do I need more jewelry? No, but I got it anyway, and I'm very happy with my purchases. I feel like they were all very practical. Like I said, we're back. We're gonna relax. We're gonna chill, have a movie night, and honestly recharge because we got another day tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last day, which is sad. city the trip always goes by so fast but we still have an entire day of activity and walking and exploring so this is my outfit for the day today should probably be the chilliest day of the three so i am wearing this coat 
Um, I've got my little sneakers on with my jeans, but I think it's cute and should keep me warm. The sun is shining yet again, so it's going to be a lovely day and we are about to head out. Subways are working again, so we're going to take the 7 into Manhattan and we're going to have a great day. We've made it to the vessel. This is so cool. Architecture is very interesting, but it is cold. Don't think I've ever seen this in person before. I've only ever seen it in pictures. I'm definitely happy we're wearing our coats today because yes. today is by far the chilliest of the three days. It's been actually really warm. Yeah, actually, we've been good about our body temperatures. But today, today not so much. Sweaters on. And the turtleneck. I think this is helping yes, me out a bit. Me too. So we are gonna walk the High Line, but I do suspect it's going to be windy up there. That's our plan. We are definitely gonna be doing some shopping at Hudson Yards because we've never, we've never been. But for now, we're gonna walk the High Line, and it should be really nice, I think. And then we'll need a coffee. Chelsea Market. This actually works out perfectly because we were planning to get off at 18 and then we quickly learned that the Chelsea Market is right here. So now we're gonna check it out. I need a coffee to warm up my hands, but we're gonna just scope it out. It's been a, been a while. Here we are. necessary to have a little pit stop for coffee so we just stopped in a little random cafe it was actually very cute Urbana. mom got a tea I've got a hot coffee believe it or not but it's chilly out so it keeps my hands nice and warm and now we're headed to Hudson Yard word has it there's a Zara there so more shopping I gotta find small things to fit in the suitcase here we go into the shops we go. First order of business is a trip to Zara. Not that I need more jewelry at all. I never need more. This necklace is super cute. We're hanging on by a thread. I have yes. just gotten so tired. <laughs> so tired. Hanging in there. Just waiting. And tomorrow I have a seven hour flight to England. And I have to be at the airport at like 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> we're gonna do it. We're, we're gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. And I think we're doing pretty good on time. I feel like 4.30, it's 4.30, we gotta meet him in an hour for dinner. I think we can do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make it. We're looking at jewelry. We're headed to dinner and we get to visit this beautiful place on the way.
we have just checked in to a hotel for the past two nights we've been staying with Brenda Abbey but because our flights are early tomorrow we thought this would just be easiest especially because both of them have to go into the office so we are at a hotel for the evening my flight leaves at 9 5 tomorrow morning for London so it's gonna be an early start to my day again and mom leaves to go head back to Buffalo around 9 as well but she is flying out of a different airport it's been a great trip I feel so tired I definitely need to recharge my batteries because we have some more exploring in London by this time tomorrow I will be in London England which is pretty crazy